Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a very special sneak peek from Diamond Art Club to share with you. We have a brand new Guardians of the Galaxy diamond painting from Marvel and Diamond Art Club and y'all when I saw this I just... First of all, I was like, where are all of the female superheroes? We need them in our life. And they did not disappoint. This is Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. And you can see here, it is a round drill diamond painting and it's called Sword Fight in Space. It's a 50.7 by 76 centimeter full drill diamond painting. And the box is gorgeous. Look at that amazing and you can see here on the side the other guardians how cool let's go ahead and look inside and see what comes in this diamond painting this painting will be released tomorrow which is wednesday the 28th of june sorry about that and whoops oh there goes the sticker <laughs> They include this sticker so that you can put it in your journal or on the side of the box if you want to. But the box is very, very, has cool artwork on it already. So there's no questioning what is inside of that box. We're going to have a look here at the toolkit as well. Just so you can see what all comes in a typical toolkit for a round drill diamond painting. We have baggies. We have a diamond painting tray with a stopper some washi tape, we've got two plates of heart-shaped wax, the grip for your pen, then we have two multi-placers that you can put at the end of the pen, and we have a cover minder that's a whole back plastic. So that's a really nice toolkit just to get started if you don't have any other, any other tools. And then in this bag, we have the diamond painting itself. It's wrapped in this plastic sleeve so that no dust gets to the canvas because this canvas Oh my gosh, that, I can never get that to come off cleanly. I'm not patient enough, I think. Anyway, it keeps the diamond painting clean because this is actually a really soft, velvety back. I don't even know if you can tell, but it's super soft. The edges are scalloped, so it won't fray, but it has this velveteen backing to it. Warning, if you have cats or dogs or pets of any kind, you may want to use your lint roller on the back of this once you're finished diamond painting. But here are our diamonds. This is my color scheme all the way, pinks and purples, and some blues as well. There's a bit of red in there too. We're going to have a close look at these in just a minute. But first, we have, this is our instruction booklet. Uh, this tells you how to diamond paint. I also have some videos. I will have them linked in the eye above for you so that you can check out how to diamond paint from me if you'd like. And here is our legend. This is the original artwork. Isn't it beautiful? And there are 43 colors. Oh my gosh. And up here there are four AB diamonds. So anything under 150, 149 and less would be an AB diamond, which is Aurora Borealis. And I will show you those in just a few minutes. And down here we have a Z diamond, which is a fairy dust diamond. So I'm excited to see where those go. We'll have a look here now. I'm going to unroll this. So roll it the opposite way so it lies flat quicker, but if you just lay it out on a table, it will unroll on its own. Or not unroll on its own, but it'll lie flat on its own, rather. So we're just going to do this. How is everybody doing? How's your Friday going? I hope you're doing well. I am currently um, suffering through bronchitis, so that is why my voice sounds weird. But here we go. Here's the diamond painting. <gasps> Look at it. How cool is this? <laughs> This will definitely have to be saved for Marvelous May if Diamonds and Washi does another Marvelous May event. This is incredible. Look at this. I am so glad that we have a female superhero as a diamond painting. Here's some of the details. We have the bottom here with the licensing information. As you can see, it's a genuine Marvel product. We have the legends on both sides of the canvas. And we have the catchphrase, do it makes you sparkle at the very top. This is beautiful. The rendering is phenomenal. It is very much a color blocking canvas. The only areas where you would call for confetti, 
I don't know if I consider this confetti, but the stars, there's kind of like sparkles and streaks in the sky back here. It's only one color difference, so I would, wouldn't really call that confetti, would you? I'm not sure. But for me, um, confetti is when there's lots of colors in one little area. And on this canvas, we mostly stick with color blocking. And it looks incredible. I really love the shading down here. As you know from the original, if you looked at the original, you can see that this part is a little bit faded. I like the way that they did this. It looks really cool. Let's have a look at the canvas a little closer. So you can see the symbols. Ooh, the square is a new one for me. Very nice. I'm going to have to pause you for a second while I cough. Excuse me. So yes, this is absolutely stunning. I even, I like the way her face is done as well. Um, it actually looks quite good to me. We're going to have a look at these diamonds. If you want to skip through this part, feel free. I'm going to show you where the special drills go afterwards. Yeah, the reason I haven't been active this week is because I've been pretty sick. So we've got 550, 333, we have three bags. How shiny they are. 209, 327, 3837, there's two bags there. 208, 154. Uh, for 310, we have two bags here. Z554, so this is the Fairy Dust Diamond. Let's see if I can flip it over so that you can see really well. Hopefully you're seeing the light reflect there. It's a very cloudy, rainy day today, so that's why it's not picking up so well, but it is kind of like um, a glitter diamond. Very pretty. 939. 814, 553, 3607, 153, 3746, 3608. Here's another one. 718, 141. Here's an AB. So Aurora Borealis is uh, AB. That's what AB stands for, and it's that iridescent spark sparkle. You could actually see it way clearer today than on sunny days. How about that? That shimmer and shine. It's so beautiful. 3371, 915, 124. Here's a pink AB. Very pretty. 3041, 321, 126. This one's like a lavender pink or a mauve, maybe. 3834, 815, 471, 666, 498, 210, 470, 469, 601, 818, 114, there's a red AB diamond, how pretty, 472, 311, 937, 677, sorry, it's kind of unfocusing, 434, 890, 3818, and 3865. All right, let's have a look on this canvas. So number one is the red AB, and that is here in the highlights of Gomorrah's suit. Uh, just little bits here in the middle, highlighting these areas. Number two is the pink AB. And I can see that here in the planets. We've got some here and here. Let's see. I'm looking in the areas that I think it would be. There's one right there. And some in here. Here. Just in those pink, er pink areas. There's some down here in the, the bottom background area as well and I probably missed some but that's the general gist number three is that mauve color kind of a pink purple crossover and there's actually a lot of numbers on this canvas I was I didn't realize that until just now 
having a look for number three. Oh, I see some over here. Can you see where my finger is? Just here. I see some twos here on the side of her body as well. I am, oh, I see some down in here. Yeah, my eyes are adjusting now. There's some down here as well. Threes along the sword as well. More threes. Oh, there's twos in her hair. Pink babies in her hair here. I'm looking. There's some threes just here. Just a couple. There's not as many threes as there are twos that I'm noticing. And then four. Four is the white AB. Uh, that is sprinkled here as stars and as like the highlights, these white parts here. The really bright white is the symbol number four. I saw that all along the sword here and just here as well. There's a couple in the background as stars again, just here on her holster, the side of her leg here on this planet, continuing down the sword, and a little bit here in the bottom, you know, this rocky planet kind of area as well. And then we have the fairy dust diamond, which is just a dash, like a, a line straight across. And that, that's in a lot of this area here, this rocky area down here, along here. There's a lot of that one. Back of these rocks as well. If we keep going up, 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 we're gonna find them here in this planet. And I see some over here as well. So there, there are a lot of specials on this painting and they are beautiful. I actually think that this is probably one of my favorite Marvel diamond paintings that they've made as of yet. But there are others that are being released this weekend and I would highly advise you to see them. I will have a link to the playlist for this week's releases in the description box of this video. And uh, I hope that you'll check them out. They are really cool. Let me know what you think down below. I'd love to hear it. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and a great week after that. I will see you next week for regularly scheduled programming, I promise, as soon as I get over this silly cough. I hope that you all take care and stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!